Well, hey, Kyle. I almost didn't see you there. Hey, Coach. It's great to see you. How have you been? Oh, I'm great. And I'm late. I'd love to stay and chat for a while, but I'm about to miss my next class. I better run and get everything prepared. See you later. Hey, Kyle. Hey, Rachel. Is Coach running a little bit behind today? He is, but I think he's going to be all right. You know, Coach did get me thinking about how things outside of school, like running late, can impact teachers and students, too. And that's why it's so important for teachers to do social and emotional learning in the classroom. But teachers also have a lot of content that they need to teach. They do. So how can they balance instructional content and social and emotional learning? That's such a good question. And I think one thing that we need to acknowledge first is that social emotional learning and instructional content are no longer separate in the classroom. If I want to engage my students, I can't just stand there and lecture and expect them to remember everything. They have to be engaged. And the ways that I engage them are through social emotional activities like having them empathize with characters in the stories we read or giving multiple perspectives of a historical event so that students can empathize with different participants' points of view. Or even something as simple as giving students coping strategies when they get frustrated with a math problem. These are the things that make learning stick for students because that keeps them engaged in the process. So I'm not losing time by having students engage in social emotional learning. I'm actually building more levels of engagement in the content that I teach. Yeah, excellent, that makes a lot of sense. So we know that two big goals of teachers are to create a positive classroom community mm -hmm. and to have a healthy learning environment. Sure. How does SEL tie in with those two goals? So students are looking for two very important things from a teacher. First of all, they are looking for an adult who they can trust to help them identify and cope with their emotions in the classroom. They are also looking for an adult to support learning for peer interaction. They need to build those social emotional skills with other students so that they can continue to thrive in your class. Because in the end, they're not going to remember what you said in the class. They're going to remember the very important, authentic conversations that they had with other students. Yeah, great. So helping a student develop socially and emotionally seems like a huge task. It is. Uh, where does a teacher need to start and who can they enlist to help them out? We'd like to think that you know we have this unique connection with our students and nobody else understands, but that's not true at all. Um, your students were the students of other teachers in the past and um, so you can always enlist the help of former teachers. You can enlist the help of coaches, um, club advisors, other adults who are invested in that student in the building. Never underestimate the importance of the school counselor. They can help you with individual students. They have all the resources and all the training to help with what your students need. And even if there's some sort of a group activity that you need for your entire class, maybe the school counselor should come talk to your students about coping with testing anxiety or how to balance difficult personal life challenges with their academic lives. That's what school counselors are there for and they're more than happy to help. And remember, the more adults that we can get involved with our students' growth, socially and emotionally, the better. Yeah. It's great to know that teachers aren't alone helping their students develop socially and emotionally and that they have partnerships available to them at the school. Absolutely, but speaking of partnerships, I just realized I'm supposed to be in a PLC with Ryan right now. This has been really fun, Kyle. Thank you, Rachel. Have a great day. You too.